Hey, this is Chris Mitchell, publisher of ProphotoResource.com. I want to take the time right now to thank you for joining us in this first in a series of video tutorials on using Lightroom, Adobe's new archiving and editing software. Um, and in this first tutorial, we're going to cover shooting tethered within Lightroom, something that's easily done in programs such as Capture One, but uh, takes a little bit of setup in Lightroom to get working just right. Uh, with that said, I want to go ahead and get a few things out of the way. First is that we are an all Mac based shop here, so no PC, sorry guys. And the other thing is uh, we're a Canon shop, so no Nikon cameras either. But uh, the software is similar from uh, camera manufacturer to camera manufacturer as well as platform to platform. So uh, mileage may vary, but uh, all things should be uh, pretty similar between uh, the two platforms. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the training. All right, and welcome back. Okay, the first thing we need to do before we can start shooting into Lightroom is we need to set up our capture utility for our particular camera. Um, again, since we're a, cam a Canon based uh, group here, we need to set up the EOS utility. So I'll go down here to my toolbar and I'll launch my Canon EOS utility. Again, uh, if you're an icon shooter, your software is going to vary slightly from, uh, from this implementation here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my preference button here, launch my preferences and then I'll select my destination folder. Uh, once my destination folder window is open I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, the button that says browse here and I'm gonna browse to my desktop and from my desktop I will go ahead and create a new folder. We'll call this folder photo watch because this is where uh, Lightroom is ultimately gonna watch this folder and pull any images that get shot into this folder directly into Lightroom. So we'll go ahead and hit create and open. Uh, once we've done that we can kind of ignore the rest of everything on the screen here and just click OK and at this point we can go ahead and quit out of the EOS utility. Okay, in step one we created a photo watch folder that's now sitting on our desktop. So at this point you can go ahead and launch Lightroom if you haven't done so already. And under the file menu you're going to go ahead and select auto import and you're going to go ahead and check enable auto import. Uh, so once you've done that go back under the file back to auto import and now we're going to go ahead and check auto import settings. This is going to pop up a dialog box where we're going to do, um, put all our settings in for the um, auto import function within Lightroom. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set our watched folder and this is the folder that um, Adobe Lightroom is going to look to um, when, whenever it sees a photo in that folder it's going to grab it and dump it into our destination that we're going to set next. Um, so, But first let's go ahead and set our watch folder and we'll click choose and let's navigate to our desktop and we're going to go ahead and select our photo watch folder that we created previously as our watch folder. So what's going to happen here is our capture utility is going to go ahead and capture those photos bring them over to our computer, dump them in our photo watch folder. Adobe Lightroom is going to see those photos and it's going to grab them out of that photo watch folder and migrate them over to um, our destination which we're going to go ahead and set right now. So go ahead and click choose and now we can go down to our destination and if you click choose under that you can go ahead and set your destination anywhere you want. Um, if you've already got Lightroom set up to manage your workflow uh, this is where you'd go ahead and, and figure all that out. So go ahead and click, in my case I'm going to click my photo book which is where I keep all my images um, into my image archive and for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to create a new folder called uh, test session and I'm going to say create and that's going to create a new folder here within my uh, within my photo archive and I'll just say choose um, and then we'll go ahead and just let Lightroom create a new directory inside of that called capture tutorial um, so from there I can drop down I can go under file naming and this is where you can set any kind of file naming convention that you want at this point in the game I'm just going to leave this uh, as at the default uh, file name and which is just going to basically bring in whatever the file name is captured as it's going to bring it straight into Adobe Lightroom the same way um, and from there I can go down and I'm going to go ahead and set my keywords uh, so every time I take a picture it's going to automatically tag that image with whatever keyword I put on it um, so in this case I'm just going to put test session uh, session um, Adobe Lightroom 
profotoresource.com training. And I'm going to say OK once I've got all that in there and I'm ready to go. We'll go ahead and say OK. And we'll stop at this point and resume here in just a second. All right, we're coming down the final stretch here in this tutorial. Uh, we've set up our, our preferences in our capture utility, and we've pointed Lightroom to the folder that we created on our desktop, and all that's really left at this point is to begin shooting tethered. But before we begin doing that, we need to launch our capture utility. Again, in my case, it's the EOS utility for Canon. And once that's open, select Remote Shooting. That'll bring up that'll bring up the uh, the remote shooting dialog box here, and I can ignore that and jump back into Lightroom, um, and we're all set and ready to go. Uh, you'll notice that nothing on the screen has changed. You don't really see your folders yet, but as soon as I capture my first image, the new folder will, folder will be created, and we can begin editing and continue shooting directly in Lightroom. So let me go ahead and capture an image real quick, and give it a second here while the computer thinks and it moves that file over to the computer. Um, you'll notice that the import button begins to blink and then shortly after we get our capture tutorial folder that we created previously with our new image in it. So I can click there and I'm going to go ahead and just rotate this real quick um, and open it up. Again nothing special but we've gone ahead and we've captured directly into Lightroom which uh, opens up a world of flexibility for us because we can jump straight into the development module and begin developing our images uh, which we'll cover in future tutorials. Um, but again, let me go ahead and just click our next photo and just show you how easy it is to uh, continue capturing directly into, uh, into Lightroom. There you go. There's our second image and, and on and on and on. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us here for this first in a series of video tutorials on using Lightroom, Adobe's new workflow and editing software for the Mac and PC. So until next month, we hope to see you in the forums at ProphotoResource.com.